The present unreal conditional is also called the second conditional. We use it to discuss unlikely or impossible situations or to talk about a different potential future result given some different behavior. We use an if clause and a main clause. If the if clause comes first, we use a comma between the main clause and if clause. If the main clause comes first, we don't use a comma. Uh, if we make a question, then we switch around the main clause, change the modal and the subject. And in, in the if clause, we use if subject simple past, in the main clause, subject, modal, or modal not, and then a base verb. And we don't use couldn't because couldn't means cannot or impossible in the past tense. We're talking about the future or the present tense here. So for example, we wouldn't have to study if I were the teacher. All of the personal be verbs for all pronouns are were. So if I were, if you were, if he were, if she were, if they were, if Bob were, if the teacher were, if anybody were. We don't have any other be verbs. I know it might sound funny, but it's actually a little easier. Uh, we wouldn't have to study if I were the teacher. People would be happier if they all had a million dollars. If I studied more, I would probably do better in school. If I didn't drive to school, I would walk or take the bus. We might not know what to do if there weren't any instructions. All be verbs are were. So let's look at these examples here. Make the second conditional. If I were you, I would get a new job, or I might get a new job, or I could get a new job. If he were younger, he would or could travel more. Let's just say could travel more. If we were not friends, or if we weren't friends, I would or I, I say might, might be angry with you. If I had enough money, simple pass, I would buy, or I could buy, or I might buy. Remember that would is expressing uh, probability. It's a plan or a prediction, whereas might is uh, maybe yes, maybe no, some kind of probability above zero. And, but could is just ability. I can, but we don't know if I want to or not. If she weren't always so late, she could or say might be promoted. If we won the lottery, we would travel the world, so it's certain there. If you had a better job, we could be able to, or say we, say we would be able to buy a better car. That means it's certain. If I spoke perfect English, I might have a good job, or I could have a good job. I'll just say could because it's possible doesn't necessarily mean you will. If I lived in Mexico, I might speak Spanish. Not necessarily true, but you might. If she passed the exam, she would be able to enter a university. Pretty simple for second conditional. Again, base verb in the main clause, simple pass in the if clause. The past unreal conditional is also called the third conditional. And using the third conditional, we're expressing regret, or we're talking about a different outcome. We're changing the past in some way. So it's still impossible, like the second conditional, but it's impossible because we're changing the past. Same thing, change the main clause for questions, and couldn't means impossible in the past. So if they hadn't scored that goal in the final seconds, they wouldn't have won the championship. And in this case, if it's negative, if it's negative in the unreal conditional, both second and third, then it's positive in reality. So if they hadn't scored the goal in the final seconds, that means they did score. We have negative here, so in reality, they did score the, final, the goal in the final seconds. They wouldn't have won the championship. Since it's negative here, that means it's positive in reality. Both they scored the goal and they won the championship. I might have taken a wrong term if I hadn't had my GPS. So I might have taken a wrong term. It's positive here. That means it would be negative in reality. I could, well, since we have might, uh, I could have taken the wrong term. Still might have because it's not 100% probable. I, if I hadn't had my GPS, this one's negative in the conditional, so in reality it's positive. It means I had the GPS and so I did not take a wrong term. It's positive here. In reality, it did not take a wrong term. However, if I did not have it, then I might have. Right? I might not have, but I might have. If that lady had won the election, positive here, that means she did not win the election. We wouldn't have had to see that crazy guy on TV so much. It's negative here, so in reality, yes, we had to see that crazy, TV, that crazy guy on TV so much because that lady did not win the election. 
take a look at some exercises. If you had not been, remember past participle with the past tense of the have verb, so it's had in every case, had not been so late, we wouldn't have missed. Always have following the modal. If she had studied, had plus verb three, she, say might, might have passed the exam, verb three, or past participle is passed. If we had, always had, if we had arrived earlier, we could have seen John. If they had gone, always had plus verb three, they might not have woken up late. Say might not have woken up late. If he had become a musician, he, let's say would, have recorded. That means it's with some certainty. If she had gone to art school, she could have become, if it was possible, though maybe not likely. If she had been born in a different country, I would have learned to speak a different language. That's certain. If she had gone to university, she might have studied. It means it's possible, probable, but not 100% probable. If we had not gone to the party, we would not have met them. It was, would have been impossible, or not likely, we would not have. So it's certain we, that we would not have. If he had not taken the job, he could have gone. So here we have negative, so in reality it's positive, and here we have positive, so in reality it's negative. In reality, he took the job and he did not go traveling. And so, again, the second conditional and the third conditional are talking about impossible or unreal situations. The second, we're using the simple past with the if clause and the base verb with the main clause to talk about a different outcome, excuse me, a different result in the future. In the third conditional, we're using past perfect with the if clause and present perfect with the main clause. And we're talking about changing the past in some way. Remember, if it's negative in the conditional, it's positive in reality.